Hey everybody, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. Special day for us here on the job site. I've got my mentor, my hero, my friend, Mark Liberté with me. Uh, I've learned so much from you over the years, Mark, and uh, I really appreciate all the training from all the guys like me that are trying to do the right thing but, but uh, didn't know. And you've opened my eyes to the world of building science. Awesome. So I appreciate everything I've learned from you over the years. Well, you're obviously translating it beautifully here. We're seeing a lot of uh, details from the inside, the vapor barriers, the air barriers, the uh, control on the outside. Just an excellent job of looking at the Thank details. Uh, the cladding is uh, sitting on a nice rain screen, beautiful stuff. Yep. But one of the things I really noticed was how you're doing uh, really a pure foundation. And what the idea is that it allows us to kind of isolate the house up off of the ground. And you've used steel studs to really eliminate the opportunity for wood, rod, yep. hay to occur. Exactly. And then on the other side, you've got insulation up under the bottom. Mm -hmm. And that allows that space to really sit the, the house is kind of closed in a uh, insulation bag, uh, which is ideal. Yep. So now instead of having the house connected to a dirty, wet soil, uh, I've got a nice dry enclosure, and the space underneath there is exactly as it should be. The building is up off of the uh, water, the soil, and the dirt, allowing the house to perform much better. Yeah, and you know, we do a lot of slabs here in Texas, Mark, as you know, and, uh, and our companies build a lot of slabs. We like slab foundations. But one thing, that, one detail that's typically missed and is very tricky to do, frankly, is insulating that slab edge. So if you can picture where these steel studs were, if this was a slab foundation, all that exposed slab is taking the sun's rays, is directly exposed to that 110 degree heat in July, and a concrete slab has a lot of thermal mass, so it's soaking up that, that sun's energy, and it's going to give that off really even all night long into the house. So by doing a pier and beam instead, we're able to totally insulate that floor cavity with uh, open cell foam, isolate the house, um, decouple it from the ground, and uh, it really makes for a very, very high performance house. Environmentally, it's better, uh, and also, like you said, thermally, it's better. Having all that concrete warmed up and transferred to the house is more than we need. Yeah. Seems kind of silly to put in an extra air conditioner to take care of the concrete. Yeah. So I think the choice was excellent. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate your time. Thanks for seeing you on the job site. Keep up the good work, you guys. Have a good day, everybody. We'll see you next time.